As Samoa struggles to deal with the deadly measles epidemic, people are flocking to a traditional healer in desperation. Last week, the government repeatedly shut down a man claiming to have a medical degree and claiming to heal the disease with his special Kangen water. The Prime Minister of Samoa has threatened to jail people who discourage vaccination and promise uh, healing by alternative methods. But there is a long history of natural healers in Samoa and not all of them are making wild claims about cures. Today, Checkpoint was invited inside the home of a traditional healer who's been operating for 40 years. Logan Church and Alex Perite with this exclusive report. On the main road that connects Samoa's north and south coasts is a small fale. It's the home of healer Maria Amituanai. In the middle of the small front room she sits, with parents and sick children crammed into every corner. They're also lined up outside, standing in the yard, sitting on stools, sick babies waiting for treatment. She told us she was trained as a healer by her mother 40 years ago. Her words are translated by a customer who swears by her methods. The treatment is passed down through her grandparents and she got it out of her grandmother. And <clears throat> that's how she, she became a traditional healer and traditional healer doesn't really go to university to acquire one. It's usually best down to through generations. As we talk, more and more people arrive, bringing sick children of all ages. Many here have the symptoms of measles, the rash and the watery eyes. Maria is spreading a grainy paste over the children's bodies, derived from crushed plant leaves. She also has a liquid she is spooning into their mouths. She won't name those because she doesn't want to give away her family's treasured and secret recipes. Among those who are arriving here is Asinati Falute, who is here hoping to get healing for her one-year-old daughter, Marion. Her three-year-old son, Cockton, got better after coming here. They have the same symptoms. Swollen eyes, red swollen eyes, and the mouth as well, and he had red spots all over his body. And so we brought him here, and the all she massaged him first and then she applied uh, leaves on him and then about a week and he was yeah, and so I'm hoping the same for this one. But Asanati believes that her children don't have measles. She's not claiming that this is measles. She said this is some sort of I don't know how to say it in English, but she said this is some sort of moo moo in Samoa and the fever caused by another disease called Supavai. And so, but she's not claiming it's measles. It is clear the symptoms are the same. And the question is, are these parents being told to also get their children vaccinated? Asinati did so. But we couldn't confirm that with everyone. While we were here, we saw almost no one wearing masks. There is also a nationwide emergency ban on gatherings of children. Another so-called healer who earned the ire of authorities last week was Fritz Aliasa, who was claiming Kangen water could cure measles. His clinic was shut down after defying that, but reopened, again and again. His clinic is now silent following a media storm where he attacked journalists and tried to shut them down. Police are now investigating. But Maria says she is doing something completely different from Fritz, and her claims are not so wild. She's um, encouraging me to see the doctors as well, and I take medications for the doctors are giving up, um, especially the, the, what you go, the paracetamol for the young, young children. And she's encouraging though as well to drink coconuts as the Ministry of Health are encouraging the, everyone that has measles to drink. She's not discouraging any uh, any health sector or any doctors from what they're doing. She's just giving out her, lending out her helping hand to assist uh, in the time of crisis in Samoa so that they could be able to, she could be able to assist her. She says she is not deceiving people. She just has a different name and interpretation of what everyone else is calling the measles. She's explaining that the same, the sickness is uh, unlike uh, measles. It's true that the use of that is to bring down the fever, and where the 
she believes that the sickness that she's curing is one of the common disease that's going on with the in someone but uh, the the way she's treating it is she's the the treatment that she's giving them helps the fever to come down and helps the, the throat. Debate over vaccination has raged in Samoa ever since two children died on Savaihi last year after botched vaccinations. Two of the nurses responsible are in jail. But the Samoans have practiced traditional healing methods for generations and that is a challenge for health authorities as they gear up for two days of an immunisation push that will include almost all government employees and departments. But they are fighting against other competing messages online where influential people from overseas are claiming vaccinations aren't safe. An Australian Samoan blogger has likened the compulsory vaccination programme to Nazi Germany, while influential former rugby player Eliota Fuemano Sapulu has claimed the vaccines are dangerous. The World Health Organisation has directly linked anti-vaccination messages to the spread of measles worldwide. At a nearby district hospital, we asked Kiwi doctor Scott Wilson about local treatments. Alternative therapies, um, mainstream medicine typically doesn't really have a particularly strong view on them as long as they're not to the detriment of patients' patients' care. So as long as people aren't being taken advantage of financially or, or you know, or being given false false beliefs. Some of them do have a basis in science. A lot of our medications do come from, from plants and things like that. Um, so yeah, it, look, it would be inappropriate for me to comment, comment further. But I would stress to parents, look, if, if people, are, if they're running high fevers, you know, they have signs of pneumonia, if they have signs of, of severe infections, that, that they need antibiotics. Before we left Maria's fale, we asked her if she charged any money. She said no. But some satisfied customers who have the means have been making donations. And the line here continues to grow. Many will be back here after work to bring their children for more treatments of their symptoms. The treatment that she's giving them helps the fever to come down and helps the, the throat to, to be better from the sore throat. So that that liquid uh, medicine that she's giving him now, it's helping the throat because that's why the, most of the children's mouths are like burning. They are just desperate for their kids to get better.